Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we are doing a class in the Clear Aliens breathing program for December series. I am offering you this class of course for free here on YouTube and I am going to make the schedules on my website available to everyone for this week. So come over to my website. Um, the beginner schedule and the intermediate advanced schedule will be available to everybody so you can join um, my group of yogis that are on my website for this week and we can flow together. This is kind of like a Christmas gift and um, that will keep you motivated and flowing. And um, uh, this uh, month's program is Clear Aliens. Uh, we're dedicating the program to breathing techniques, different breathing techniques, to core reproductive system and on a spiritual side the clear aliens the sense of the psychic sense of smell for today's class i'm gonna make it level one or levels so not like a pure very easy level one but it will be available to yogis of all levels including level one but you can join if you're more advanced because in general i advise uh, to do different um, level classes on different days. You shouldn't go hard every single day. It's not good for the hormonal system and for the body in general. So today's class, we're gonna work on breathing, calming breath and uh, uh, hormonal health and core work uh, with a flowing vinyasa. Now, um, for today's class, I'm using inspiration from Andrew Huberman's podcast on, um, he has a podcast on estrogen and testosterone. Now the podcast is two hours long, but I'll tell you um, that from the podcast, one of the highlights out of the two hours uh, worth of um, informative, lots of information packed in, one of the most important takeaways is that deep breath through the nose with complete exhalations really improves our hormonal health. Dopamine levels, testosterone levels, and I'm sure everything across the board. He specifically spoke about dopamine and testosterone because it's tested in the neuroscience lab, lab or labs, and it's proven scientifically. But in general, you know, this comes from the old texts, uh, yogic and spiritual texts and so forth and it is known to enhance all aspects of health, proper breathing and including the expansion of consciousness. So we're going into the magical <laughs> realm. Not only the physical and provable stuff, the tangible stuff, but also you know the stuff that we don't have quite the tools, the lab tools to test. It is existent, it's just not available for testing. Anyways, um, Today's breath is going to be uh, kind of based on him, uh, on this podcast, but also it is a yogic breath. We're going to focus on calming breath. So uh, something that really kicks in the parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest, the, the state that we need to be in in order to heal. When we're in a healing mode, that happens only in a parasympathetic state. Mm, sympathetic is... Um, uh, cortisol, it's adrenaline, that is the more um, action-oriented system and then uh, we have the parasympathetic state which is you know they have to follow each other when we're in a parasympathetic state we heal, we relax, we calm the system down, we we feel safety. Uh, now I was thinking um, if I want to incorporate clear aliens in today's class because it's already packed with a lot of focuses and parasympathetic and uh, core and reproductive and so forth although the breath will be specifically for the reproductive system so that's two things in one uh, but I will give you an idea of a breath of a smell that you I invite you to bring into your uh, state if you if it inspires you if you relate with interesting memories of nour being nourished um, safety, nourishment, um, feeling, uh, feeling taken care of, something like that. You know, when we when we wanna be in a healing state, we wanna be in a state of being nourished. Um, so for me, that I've I've gone through 
the different classes that I've already showed are the smell of fall or decomposing leaves, library, so breaking down of the cellulose and paper in books. Those are smells that we associate with something in an emotional state. They um, affect the amygdala, which is the center of the brain uh, responsible for fear, but also for unconscious memories and other things. Uh, but within our uh, classes, this is, uh, this is the focus, kind of awakening unconscious memories so that we can clear them or even use them as a way of healing uh, if they're positive. So today's bread, <laughs> bread uh, smell practice will be baking bread or something like that, the smell of bakery or baked goods, because to me that always reminds me of, of my childhood, of holidays, of my mom, of my grandma and so forth. So I think for most people, um, the smell of baked goods or a bakery, or if you want to make it garlic and onion on the, um, you know, fry, fried garlic and onion, if that's the smell that you associate with your grandma, or your childhood, okay, bring that, whatever it is. I think baked uh, bread or um, baked goods or even a bakery or uh, your mom baking something in the morning, something like that in your childhood, it just really, really reminds us of a place of safety and just that childlike enjoyment of life. So that's the smell for today. We're just going to bring it about a few times and then we'll focus on the breath for a large portion of the class. Now the breath, a quick word on the breath and then we'll get started. The breath is going to be uh, deep through the nose and complete. Uh, the exhalations will be longer than the inhalations which stimulates the parasympathetic response uh, because we want to calm down, feel peaceful, uh, relaxed and so forth, feel safe. Um, and that improves our hormones. So dopamine, testosterone, I'm sure estrogen and so forth, it just optimizes our uh, hormone levels. Uh, it doesn't throw them out or makes any, something really high and other things low, but it really brings us in a state where we want to be. Um, in in um, contrast, if we don't breathe deeply, we take shallow breaths, often through the mouth. In society, that's really very common. It's systemic. Um, we also don't exhale completely, so we build up carbon dioxide and that um, leads to low testosterone, low dopamine, then cortisol is high and so forth. So um, it's important to really know that deep breathing uh, has tangible effects on our health, not only spiritual effects, because the spiritual, we've heard through yoga a lot about that. Breath, of course, is the connection of uh, the physical. It connects us to the spiritual world. Uh, it's that, that threat. Mm, but it has very, very tangible effects on our, on our well-being, on our health, on our physical body, etc. So today we're going to really focus on breathing through the nose. If you cannot, obviously uh, do your best. Uh, but the yoga practice will teach us and that's what we've been learning for many years, is uh, when we deep, uh, breathe deeply on the mat, that kind of becomes habitual and carries throughout our, uh, throughout our day. Then during the day, we, if we remind ourselves more often and more often to take deep breaths, diaphragmatic, into the belly and into the chest, both, um, then this just becomes habitual and that's how we start breathing when we sleep as well. So it just really trickles in as the way we have negative uh, habitual patterns, that is, that is an example of a positive habitual pattern. Uh, all right, uh, that was <laughs> the intro for the class and I hope you are inspired to really breathe now and let's remember to flow with strength and ease. Starting with movement, we're going to move the arms side to side and we're going to follow them with our gaze, which ensures that we're moving on the head in relation to the spine. So the neck is moving in harmony with the spine and we're going to bring the breath in. So begin to deepen the breath. Inhale and exhale through the nose 
and exhale for longer than the inhalation just a little longer you don't want to overdo uh, it uh, because you're going to fall asleep so just slightly longer exhalations at your own pace of course I did a class where the exhalation was twice the time of the inhalation but that can be very very relaxing for the beginning of a class now if you feel stressed out and nervous that will have really really calming effects on you it will help all right now reaching back so arms parallel to the floor and just reaching back feel your upper back muscles and also your spine engage the core great let's do side bends moving somewhat freely this is free form you can use the framework of my movements but make it yours we're just dropping in the body feeling the breath and feeling the body as a beginning of the practice bringing the focus the awareness here in the body in the moment all right shoulder rolls backwards shoulder rolls forward Uh, fingertip uh, circles backwards or in one direction reverse it hands onto the knees you can rub your knees bring about warm and circulation and let's do circles with the knees and open the toes engage the feet reverse it and let's do figure eight with the hips and reverse it Now remember to really exhale completely and the more you do it the better it will get and that will really help with balancing the hormones which is some part of the focus for the classes this month so coming to the front of the mat take a few very conscious present breaths single focus so your entire awareness is focused on your breath and nothing else or everything else is kind of the background noise but we're creating that single focus awareness feel the depth of your breath all right stomach vacuum time hands onto the knees and you're going to exhale completely empty and hollow the belly pull the belly button up towards the spine and some of you will experience also the neck lock or the neck seal or jalandhara bandha udhyana bandha is the bandha that is posing here also happens during or during a vacuum so let's exhale and go into a vacuum
take a breath and prepare for two more this time engage also mula banda or the pelvic floor Great, and let's bend the knees and come into a L, L shape or forward bend, chest parallel to the floor. The knees are slightly or you can bend them as much as you need to. And a forward fold. Inhale, look ahead, hands on the shin bones and spread the fingers wide open as wide as you can, pressing into the base of each finger and step back into plank. Now for whichever part of or whatever part of planks you can hold a full plank, just bring your knees down, pull the belly in. As I said, this is all level. So some of you are gonna have to do this because it will strengthen you to ultimately do a plank. And even if you, you never do a plank, that's okay. Just continue with that because you are strengthening with isometric holds. And some of you are going to to hold a full plank. That develops our endurance. I'll do a full endurance class. Again, based on the exercises offered by Andrew Huberman and uh, his programs. I've done it a lot, but I'll do one with the title Endurance. All right, side plank onto the left hand. Beginners will step the right foot in front, left hand on the floor, left leg extended on the floor, right foot in front, and everybody else will just do a side plank on the left hand. This is part of endurance um, training, especially the long holds, the longer holds. Pull the belly in, Mula Banda. And plank again. And the other side, side plank, again, you can adjust it, whichever level suits you. You do want to feel that you're working, but you want to work with the right form. So if, if you feel that you can hold the form here properly, then help yourself a little bit so that you can really engage the muscles properly. Nice, complete exhalations. And plank. One more, left side, side plank. Again, adjust if you need to. This pose engages the entire body, flex the feet. And plank, side plank on the other side.
plank. Drop the knees down onto all fours. Again, really reaffirm the breath. Take the right leg up, parallel to the floor, left arm forward. Really feel the core engaging here. The heel is stretching away from the fingertips, one long line. Belly in, change. Feel the core as a corset, hugging your torso and supporting, stabilizing your torso. There's gonna be quite a few core classes in this week's program. Change that, as I mentioned, is free and available for you to go and just join us for this week. Change. All right, a little more core. So now if you have a yoga block or a Pilates bowl, you can use it, but if you don't, don't. It's just an added bonus between the thighs. And we're going to come on into all fours with the block between the legs if you're using a block or a Pilates bowl. Even a small yoga ring works. And we're going to lift the knees, round the back slightly and pull the belly in. Just hollow everything, not as much as for a vacuum, but really draw everything in. Really strengthening for the, for the core. And digestive system, reproductive system, etc. Take a break and now we're just going to move the knees, lower them and lift them. I'll demonstrate it. Walk your feet a little closer and we're gonna lift and hover over the floor. Lift, hover over the floor. If you're using the block, squeeze at the top, slightly relax as you lower, squeeze at the top and so forth. So you're thinking about two movements plus your breath, plus your core, etc. Really focused on the experience of how this feels in your body, in your muscles. Spread the fingers wide open. Over time, of course, we think about less and less things because they become habitual. For example, how we hold our hands, that over time we don't have to actively think about it because we become good at it. But that's, you know, that's the benefits of the practice. That's what practice means. Practice until it really is integrated into the the habitual patterns into the body. All right. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. And release. Now when you lift and squeeze the block or squeeze the belly, it's really that corset just comes alive. That the muscles that are like a corset, they hold us. Take a little breather, really reinforce the nice deep inhalations through the nose and very slow, complete exhalations through the nose. And grab your block again. We're going to take again that O4 stance. Walk your knees a little closer and we're gonna pendulum them. One, two. Twenty. And release. From here, Plank, either chaturanga from the knees or chaturanga from your toes, upward facing dog, and second chaturanga, knees or toes, 
and down dog. Pull the belly in. Lift Mula Bandha. Free the breath. There is a mental component to um, getting the breath more flowy. And bring about that smell of grandma cooking or mama cooking or freshly baked, go uh, baked goods or bakery or Christmas morning or holiday morning or something like this. Something you associate with the nurturers in your life. It's an ephemeral idea of smell. And let's take the right leg up, open the hip, bend the knee, lift, square the hip, look between your hands and let's take a plank, one legged plank, knee tuck one, press it back, you can press it back to down dog or you can stay in plank the entire time, so pressing back into down dog is level one. Staying in plank the entire time is level two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And step the right foot through, come up, high lunge. Exhale, vinyasa, plank, chaturanga, maybe onto your knees, upward dog. And again, second chaturanga, downward dog. Take the left leg up, open the hip, bend the knee, lift. and square the hips, take plank or stay in down dog, 10 knee tucks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, really squeezing the core, and high lunge. Push into the back heel, so you're activating the back leg as well. And exhale, vinyasa. Chaturanga. Up dog. Second chaturanga, down dog. The second chaturanga is of course optional. And you can do both on the knees. Take down dog and do alternating heel drop so you're gonna take the right heel up and don't bend the knee just lift the hip drop it and go on to the other side it's a little bit like a booty dance and on top of it it's heel drops so it's good for the lymphatic system the bones take the right leg up Open the hip, bend the knee, drop it behind the wild thing, you're flipping the hips up. And side plank, or a variation of a side plank, where I'm working on endurance as well with all these plank holds. 
Step it through to the front and come up, high lunge. Hands in prayer twist. Reach back up. And again, bring yourself back to the breath. You can imagine that ephemeral scent of baked goods. So it's either a memory or just the memory of the smell. which oftentimes will have a particular effect on our emotions, state. So just observe. You're getting to know more and more about yourself, getting to know yourself more and more. And step at the front. Standing at the front, we're going to wrap the left leg around the right and sit back. Left arm forward, right up, cross, wrap, sit, soften in the back of the shoulders. And from here, come up, release, open the hip and step back in warrior two. Straightening the lead knee, hinging at the hips, reach way ahead of you and lower down triangle pose. And bring both hands down, step it back, plank, vinyasa. Downward facing dog, take the left leg up. Open the hip, lift, drop it behind wall thing. Complete exhalations. Side plank. And you can bring your leg to the front. High lunge. Hands in prayer twist. Step at the front, wrap. Right arm forward, left, up, wrap. Sit. Still, stillness, have a tap into the stillness. Unwrap, open the hip and step it back into warrior two. Straightening the lead knee, hinging at the hips, opening the right hip, lower down, triangle pose. Lengthen the torso. And coming up from this, take the white side of your, the long side of your mat and take plie. Now, you can take a very soft plie just halfway down so that if you're very experienced with plie, you can go a little deeper. Whatever works for you, it's not about the, how deep the pose is, but you feeling and creating a relationship with the pose and with your body via in that process. So here we're again going to focus on the breath because conscious breathing is one of the most important lessons of yoga, most important tools available to us, of course free. It's a free tool, the most powerful things 
will be <laughs> free. Um, really feel, feel your breath with a single focus awareness. Just really feel, be a conscious breather, breathe consciously, bring your consciousness awareness to your breath for this moment. Straighten the legs and step at the front. Take chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look ahead, plank. Chaturanga. Up dog, chaturanga, down dog, take the right leg up and we're going to bring it, bring the knee into the chest in plank and move it across and back to center, across and back to center, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back into down dog. Here we are going to drop the left knee down into all fours, and we're going to bring the right knee to the nose and up. Now, for this is beginner version. For advanced, you're going to have your left knee off the floor and do the same movement. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And step it through, warrior two. Side angle and blink vinyasa. Down dog. Take the left leg up. Bring the knee into the chest in plank and move it across ten times. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop the right knee down and let's bring the left knee to the nose and back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and step it through, warrior two. Side angle breath. Engage your belly here and come up, straighten the legs and go up to a wall. If you are, if you have a block and using a block, take your block for a wall sit, otherwise just sit on a wall, wall sits, wall squats. Sit back, back to the wall. You can have the block between the thighs and squeeze. 
and release. Now we're going to squeeze on exhalation, release on inhalation. And let's make it rhythmic, do it on your own at your own pace, focus on your inhalation and exhalation. As you exhale, you can squeeze the block if you're using one. Otherwise, you're just going to focus on the breath. You can also flex your glutes if you're not using a block. I think my mat is traveling away from me. <laughs> A few more. Even though we're doing actual physical exercise here, the most important focus is the breath. We really want to develop this. It, it becomes second nature to us, this deep type of breathing. Especially at times when you feel stressed out, this is very important to breathe. All right, so here you're going to press the wall behind you, push yourself off the wall and and either with the block or without, come up to standing a few more heel drops, lift and drop your heels, lift, drop your heels, a few more. ground reaction force we're bringing vibration through the joints and bones you don't have to drop really hard if you've never done them it is a beginner uh, level exercise for strengthening the bones and release now with deep exhalations apparently testosterone levels go up but when testosterone levels are um, higher people have a better sense of safety calmness to to do certain things that otherwise they would be too fearful to do so it's an interesting association that testosterone doesn't always mean what we think it does, but it's a, a lot more having proper levels of all the hormones is an interesting, an interesting um, field of study. All right, step at the front. And again, bring your awareness to the breath now that well, I've spoken just very briefly, but enough to, to really make a point of how important it is to take deep breaths for the entire body, physically, mentally, emotionally, etc., spiritually. Two very deep breaths. Bring your right foot into the left thigh for three poles. The foot pushes into the thigh and the thigh pushes into the foot creating a strong connection and you can open the knee a little more with that force. Leverage. Focus on the breath and on the central <clears throat> axis of the body. 
free up the breath. Um, it is a, a, a men, uh, almost like a vision that translates into uh, physically breathing with more freedom, with more flow, with more ease. From a visual, it becomes more accessible to us physically. And let's change sides. And release, inhale, reach over the head, hold here, standing tall, feel the feet sinking or dropping into the mat and feel a reach up. You're stretching here and you feel the contact with the earth, the contact or the stretch up into the sky. Let's reach over to one side, side bend. Look up, opposite side, look up, back to center. Let's do it one more time. Change. And back to center, exhale, dive. Inhale, look ahead of you, plank. Hold it. And lower down onto your belly, open cobra. Child's pose. Coming up, you can sit on your knees, but if that bothers you, you can sit just in easy pose. Bring the hands behind the head. Without clasping, they're just going to be slightly apart. The fingertips are just an inch apart. And you're gonna press your elbows back and lift the chest, big breath in. And release, we'll do one more. So elbows back and kind of creating expansion, openness. And release, all right, let's sit. Sit down either with the block or without. You're going to uh, bring your hands behind you and wiggle the legs side to side with the block. You have a little more reference point for keeping things um, active and aligned, but you can do it without. Just moving the leg side to side. Great. Sit on your sit bones. Lean back a little bit. Keep the back straight. And we're gonna pulse one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down, 
and lift the legs up either with the block or without it doesn't matter with the block of course engage the block engage the inner thighs flex your feet draw the toes back in pull the belly in and we're going to reach forward one two pilates reaches or pilates ups nine ten rest and ten more one two ten one last set great step your feet down and we're gonna do a few pelvic tilts with or without the block pelvic tilts are great the block adds a little extra to it but pelvic tilts are amazing either way use mula banda pelvic floor engaging engagement and bridge pose release remove the block lift your legs above you and just shake them until you feel your flesh just really shaking lymphatic exercise lymphatic drainage exercise just shake, 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 and perfect time for plow. and coming out of it hug your knees into your chest again bring about that smell a fresh baked goodies Let's stretch the hips, bring the right ankle over the left, over the left knee and gently press the right knee away from you, Le uh, right ankle towards you, flex the foot. Change. release take the left knee in and across and 
change. Lay down, really focus on your breath here for a few moments. You're going to focus on breathing through the nose, very very focused on lengthening the time, the duration of the exhalations, so a little longer exhalations full complete inhalations as well as exhalations slightly or even up to twice as long exhalations as the duration of the inhalation the more you want to get relaxed the longer the exhalations can be and really don't focus so much on uh, having peaceful thoughts or controlling your thoughts or anything like that or emotions just focus on the mechanical part of the breathing uh, really the um, nuts and bolts the mechanics of the breath um, that gives you single focus awareness so you're really focusing on one thing which is really an important quality to have as a mind and even as a spiritual being but also the breath itself will have its own effect, independent of your thoughts, effect on your um, system, on your physical system, on your neurons and hormones and psyche. So you're going to experience the effects of the breath. So now just focus on the mechanics of the breath and let your thoughts be do whatever they want to do, be um, in the background or whatever. As long as you're just focused on the breath, if it helps you to count it, count it, because it really keeps you more present on the breath and less on the periphery. But at the same time, you're not trying to shut down anything or to really control your mind or thoughts. You're just focused on the breath here, allowing yourself to really deeply breathe and experience the breath, feel the breath. Observe the breath. Now, if you don't have a lot of time, you can just do it for 30 seconds. But if you have time, I invite you to stay here for three to five minutes. Just really breathe. You're going to feel like a new person if you just devote three minutes to breathing. And remember to flow with strength and ease. Namaste.